Hi there. In this tutorial, I will show you how to create and start a new Vaughn Flow project. On the Vaughn.com website, go to Developers and Vaughn Start. On this page, you can either hit Download if you want to just download this basic starter, or you can log in if you want to customize it. I'm going to log in. Now that you're logged in, you can add views and customize the starter. So I'm going to add a, a person form here. I'm going to change the theme up a little bit. So I'm going to use a dark theme. Maybe change the primary color a little bit to like a minty green like that. And I'm also going to change uh, or make sure that I'm on uh, Java 17 here. Everything else looks good. So I'm going to hit download. And what happens is I will get a zip file and you can see the instructions here for how to run it. So we're going to open up the zip file and we want to open this in our ID. Now I'm going to use IntelliJ ID and then open the project here. So I'm going to go to my downloads folder. I'm going to select the folder and open it. I'm going to trust the project and then have IntelliJ open that for me. So the project, if you take a look at it, you'll see that there's a source main Java folder, which includes your entire application. You can see there's a Spring Boot application, which is the main entry point to the application. Then you have all the different views that you just configured. And in case one of the views uses uh, backend, you will also have some basic uh, data entities for that. And then you might have some components here as well. The way you start this application is either by running the application class here, uh, the Spring Boot class, or then you can run it through the command line with the Maven wrapper command. We recommend that you run it uh, through this application class because that makes debugging easier. So just uh, run this main application. And what you will see is that uh, it will start up a build process. The first time you do it, it's going to download Maven dependencies and uh, it'll take a while. But the next time you do it, it'll be a whole lot faster. So once the build here finishes, you should be all ready to go. All right, and there you have it. So our application is up and running and you can uh, start programming. Hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, ask them in the comments below. Happy hacking.